What's going on guys? Uh, this is a quick video on how to use AudAlert. It's just a bit of a refresher. Um, things change quite quickly. And there's uh, a few a few people that um, are new to the site and maybe they aren't sure how to, to use everything. Um, I've had a few people saying that some of the stats uh, look wrong but they're not toggling the home and away form or they're looking at the last six. So what is AudAlerts basically? Um, should probably start there. It was a tool that I created um, at first just for first half goals and it was just a script. It was a, a basic tool um, that would tell you if there wasn't a goal in a game after like 15 minutes or something. Um, and then it evolved to use live odds and, and people started using it. Um, and now it's sort of, um, I would hope, a one-stop shop for any of your football betting needs. Um, you can find stats, you can you can set the alerts, you can do back testing, you can check out teams and, and whatnot. Um, this is the main view you'll see when you look at the website, it's, it's the fixture feed. And I'll just take you through the, the UI for the fixture feed as well. You've got the live toggle at the top. So by default you'll see this list, which is uh, the countries that are, uh, contain games today. So if we click into Brazil, You'll see all of the Brazilian games. There's a lot of leagues being played in Brazil. And also up here you've got this stats option which will change the stats that you see on these fixture feeds um, inside here. These are called stat scrollers um, because they're stats that scroll. You can add your own stats to these stat scrollers. You can change them um, to make them your own depending on the stats that you um, like to see most. Or you can change them quickly using this up here. So you can see that the default is is my own personal one. If I wanted to look at the stats that are um, key for first half goals, I would click on first half goals. And it would change that data for me. Um, so if you're loading a filter, which we'll look at in a, another video, um, you can see how it's, it's, it's quite good to just match the stat scrollers with the filter. Um, you can actually set a default stat scroller per filter when you're creating it, which is handy. So we could look at second half goals, first half goals, and this is useful if you're looking at the live matches. So if we click on live, this will just always show you the games that are in play right now. Good thing is as well, it doesn't load the stat scrollers again. If, you, if you've already looked at this game somewhere, it will save those stats until you refresh the page, which is good when you're working with filters and stuff. So we're on second half goals here, which is, um, is okay. We can look at this uh, Perth Glory game. It's in the 72nd minute. So second half goals might be something that I would, I would look, at, look into. Uh, we can see that the score was 1-0 at, at half time. Um, yeah, so... If I was looking at this game, I would click into it. I would uh, probably then check out the goal timings, the, the stats by half. I won't go into that um, yet. I'll just keep explaining the top of these, uh, the top of the fixture feeds, the toolbars, and, and what all these options do. So, yeah, hitting this is your live toggle. It'll always show you the live games. This stats button uh, is how you change the stats that you see. Just to confirm, first half goals. BTTS stats and as you go through the live page you'll see a game and that will determine which stats you want to look at for that game so this this Greek league here is in the first half 19 minutes played so you might want to look at first half goals for example and you can see that there's actually quite a, a low percentage of, of first half goals um, and goals scored is under one for all of the teams um, and you just go through like that. That's usually what I do, and it's a good starting point um, for the research. Um, so the next part of this is being able to change the date. It's quite obvious. It's a, it's a calendar icon. You click on it, you can just change the day. So we could go to Thursday here, and again, we've got Australia, and we can just see the games that are being played tomorrow in Australia. Okay, so we can close that. Let's go back to today. And the other options in here, in this little uh, settings icon, is the ability to sort by time. Uh, what this will do is it will put all the fixtures in a list like they are when you're looking at live matches. And it will just show them all sorted by time. This is good if you just want to check out what's upcoming. And I'm also going to toggle that the odds have to be required. So if we reload the filter... 
it should show us first the games that are in play. Yep. And if we keep scrolling down, it'll show us all the games that are upcoming. So we've got these Bundesliga games, we've got these uh, under-19 Italian games, Croatian games. Is it quite a good... Uh, group of games upcoming around 2 p.m. so in, in about 10 minutes um, and the next thing probably brings us on nicely to this is the actual fixture so aside from the stat scrollers and the stats that we've got here which are quite obvious um, what does all this mean in the fixture so if the fixture is live you'll see the score here um, which I would hope is, is obvious you've got second versus first which means um, the league positions, so you can see 13th against 14th. This is a cup competition, so it might just be showing uh, first against second, it might be some kind of knockout, so that's um, possibly something I can fix. But if you look at the ones that are actually league competitions, you'll see fourth against first, second against third. And as you go down the page and you see games that are, are to be played, you'll see these icons. Now, this is one of the questions that I... Uh, probably get answer, uh, asked the most um, on Twitter, what do these mean? And it isn't that obvious, I, I do realise that. Um, so I'll go through now. The green dot means that this game has odds, um, has has odds, odds inside. So if we click on this game and we go to the odds section, there's odds here. Pre-match odds, um, doesn't matter which bookmaker, if there's pre-match odds, uh, odds loaded in the database, this green dot will be there. Now the next icon is a flag, that means um, it's a corner flag. So it means that there is corner markets for this fixture on Bet365. Um, it might be just one corner market, it might be a hundred corner markets, but corner markets exist, that's what the flag means. Um, the bolt is the probability bolt, which means there is probability data for this game, which we can see here. And another icon that will appear here, I don't think there will be any games today, um, probably some Japanese games tomorrow, mind, that have card markets. So if you see a yellow square, that means that the fixture has card markets available on Bet365. Um, I don't think there will be any today, I don't think there's any sort of major football being played. There might be some playoff games tonight, actually. And to show you, I could just turn off this, keep the odds required. In fact, I can show you another small feature here which is has card markets and I can reload that and you can see that there's four countries that have games with card markets so two games in Holland tonight one in Italy uh, quite a few in England tonight the Premier League games and uh, the League One playoff fixtures um, as expected so you can see here these are all the icons that you will see if a, if a fixture has everything in terms of support this is what it will look like. So just again, we've got the green dot, which means the fixture has odds available um, and will have live odds support as well. Uh, the yellow card, which means it has card markets. The corner flag means it has uh, corner markets and the bolt means probability. And you can see that the probability is here. Okay. Um, the final thing here is this high and um, let's see if it changes here, medium. This is based, because you can see the bolt again, this is based on the probability model. Oh, there was a goal in that Australian game. Um, let's have a look at the second half goal stats. Yeah, so 90% of all games have seen one for Perth and 82% uh, for Adelaide. So it was to be expected, really. Um, and who got the goal? Yeah, it was Perth. And they've scored over one goal on average. Average goal time is 52 minutes. It came... Average goal time is 52 minutes. That's quite it's quite late, actually, just um, from what I've seen. Um, there's an alert now. Anyway, where was I? Yeah, the bolt here. So you've got this medium icon, and you'll see that it changes per league. League 1 is poor. The Copper Italia is poor. It's based on the value, uh, the probability model, sorry. And it is a predictability label based on the last 100 games that have been tracked with this probability model. Um, so it's a lot of words, a lot of confusing and big words, but it basically gives you an indication on the predictability of a league. Um, and the probability model, which you can see inside the fixtures, is based around the goals, so determining the outcome of games, uh, basically. 
by how many goals are going to be scored by each team. So it's a it's a good um, starting point for a bet, or it's also a good indication that you might want to leave a fixture alone or, or a certain league alone. Um, and it works well, as I say, it's based on the, the, the probability script, um, which is quite good. And it's tracking the, the past 100 games all the time. So it's subject, it, it can change. If, if the league becomes less predictable, then it might go from high to medium. So that is the fixture feeds. I think I'll probably break this down into a few different videos. Um, that's all the settings of the fixture feeds. And um, if you've got any questions, let me know. You can also search for a fixture, which works just as you would expect it to. You can also load filters in. So I'll just show you that quickly. If I load uh, this this filter, this probability filter, there's no games for today, which is great. If I use this filter, there's one game for today. This better score one is a first half goals filter, I think. If we look at the first half goals stats, it should be okay. Yeah, 86% for the home team. Um, so once you've created filters and uh, you can either load the filters on the filter page or you can just load them from any fixture feed uh, like this. So that is the fixture feeds. And um, as I say, if you've got any questions, let me know.